How was up, y'all? Was cracking this D Boss Rex to this Abba and Preach vid. Its title is this true? And in the description, it says, if you don't date trans women, you don't like women. I feel like this conversation comes up every so often, but sure. Let's, let's hear what uh, they have to say about it. Let's watch. This showed up on me because it was like a, a, a TikTok or a Twitter tweet that went viral. A tweet that went viral? Tweet, tweet. This is interesting one. Okay. This comes from Stacy K. All right. Stacy K. A lot of cis girls would date and marry guys who would dump them without hesitation if they happen to have a penor. Okay, yeah. But they still I think that is, that they but they still think that what they have is love. He doesn't love you, he loves your hole. Men also have a booty hole. <laughs> if your boyfriend it. or husband doesn't see trans women as women, he doesn't see women as anything other than their orifice. So okay. I remember we were having this conversation. I feel like Twitter is still a rage bait. We did, we did, we did a video on that, and you brought up a wonderful point. Which is? But the, the wonderful point that you brought up was. So what does that mean? What does that mean? Huh? <laughs> if you're gay. And you find out, and your boy would find out that you have a vagina, he would dump you. <laughs> he don't love your dick. He don't love you. He loves just the dick. Mm hmm That's not real love you got. They would just, nobody they would ever say that. No, they wouldn't. They would not say that. They would not. But still, the, the, the rhetoric is it, the same, it, I've heard, and it makes no sense. Yes, I, I've heard gay dudes say that they're repulsed by the idea of, like, the female reproductive. A hundred percent. I've right? heard, yeah. Is it weird for dudes to say, I don't want to look at penors for straight dudes? Is it weird? I don't think none of that is weird. I'm, I'm okay with what I said. It is fine. And, and, and you know what? And you, 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 you guys are a bunch of weirdos. I'm going to tell you why you're a bunch of weirdos, all right? Why are you forcing people that don't like you to like you? If a motherfucker don't want to date me because of who I am, guess what? I don't want to date them. I don't want to force them to date me. Ew. Or shame them into wanting to date me or people who look like me. I don't care. Like he said, there are gay men who say they are repulsed by the female anatomy. They're repulsed by vaginas and everything that has to do with women. That is your prerogative to feel that way. I, I don't care. I'm not trying to fuck you. Do not care. There are men out there. I see a lot of ignorant shit online, okay? People say they don't date black women. They don't date women over 115 pounds. <laughs> it's like they don't date women who wear braids. Like, I see a lot of stupid shit. I don't care. That's you. I'm not going to talk shit about your preference. I'm not going to shame you for your preference because I I don't care. That That's you in your life. I'm not going to come up with no ridiculous comment about, well, if you don't like black women, you don't like women at all. Like, I'm not. And I've heard people make that that argument. Like, oh, if you're if you're straight, then you should like women of all uh, ethnicities and races, like, or whatever the case. And that's a whole nother conversation. But it's like, I'm not even going to bother engaging in these conversations because I don't, I don't care if you don't like me or people who look like me. There are people who do, and I'm going to spend my time and energy engaging with those people. I don't understand. When I do that, that's okay. mental illness right there. Mental. No, no, you got to love me. You got, no. If You know what? Some people at some point asked me what my type was, and I said I don't have a type. Bad bitches. Is Bad the bitches is the only thing that I like. But more than that, I like who likes me. That's the old high school with the right holes. With the, of course, of course, yeah, of course. Is love supposed to be unconditional? I don't believe that. Do you? The, the, their idea, what they like in their head, is that. People okay, like but it's, it's not. It's, I mean, it's, it's right. Not, it's not. No, it's not. It's not. It's not. It's not. There's a wonderful, brilliant comedian called Daniel Daniel Torado. Okay, all love has phenomenal dude that he has been on that though. talking about. Yo, you think love is unconditional? It's not. It's conditional. Mm -hmm. No, you got you ever. You love that person who comes to Okay, cool. What if it they was you you would want what would really please him would be to fuck another girl? Would you still love him? No? 
Because you love him conditionally. But that's exactly. most of us. That, that, he, he's being he nailed, he nailed, the, fucking put the, 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 yeah, hit the nail on the head. That's, that's what it is. Well, how, how, here's another hypothetical. What if I'm really madly in love with somebody who have been together a long time, we had all the right discussions, and then five years into the marriage, she says to me, I actually don't want kids and I'm never going to have kids. And I don't want to be with her. Does that mean I never loved her? I only love her ability to reproduce kids? No. There's just certain things I need out of a relationship. Mm -hmm. That's all. It's I'm, a simple thing. I'm going to tell you something. It, don't uh, tell one what they should love and what they shouldn't love yes. and what they feel love or not. Okay? Yes. Some of these women, because we don't want to date them because they don't have a... They have a uh, because we don't want to date them because they have a penis. Listen, uh, some of these women don't want to date us because we take them to Chipotle. So let's <laughs> not can start with... Thing, okay, no. Love who you love, love who love you back, and leave people alone with that. I just think it's shit. such weird, manipulative, gross behavior yeah, yeah, yeah. to be yeah. online and to try to mentally like people up into thinking that, or to convince women that there's something wrong with their partners because they want a certain gender. It's fine. Just let it happen. Babe. This is weirdo behavior. That's now, that's weird. I can understand that for trans people, dating might be really difficult. Mm -hmm. And so because they're ostracized based off of, like, you know, their alignment or whatever poverty parts they have, I can imagine that's tough. Mm -hmm. This is the wrong response to that. A hundred percent. You know, at the end of the day, go find people who appreciate you. Go with, you know, go where you appreciate it, not where you're tolerated yeah. or not wanted. I think that's the most sensible advice in all this. But trying to change everyone's ideas about attraction is just going to make people more resentful and think you're more of a weirdo. That's mm -hmm. what I think. And mind you, I'm not talking about it in the world. I believe that you should have a lay of the children, not a future. But should, you, it, it has nothing to do with the rights or with the places. You should be tolerated everywhere. Now, I, it, we talk about interpersonal relationship. That's, that's, let people be. Yes. Let people be. That's it. Body parts. That's so weird. Uh, the whole whole thing has He just loves your whole. Ugh. That sounds <laughs> So love shouldn't be unconditional. Okay, we agree on that portion. Ugh. <laughs> That's so fucked up, though. He lo No, you know, no, lady. You trying to guilt trip a mother... You trying to guilt trip a not. That's why I don't like that term, too. Ally. Now, because can I give you the permission to guilt trip me the, oh, now I have to think like that because uh, otherwise, yeah, my man wouldn't. Yeah, she's basically she's trying to tell women like, oh, you know, kind of. If, if, if he don't see us as women, he don't see you as nothing. No, like, oh, she's trying to put herself. She, you know, she's trying to do. Umbrella, you know umbrella, umbrella, L A A. That's she's trying to L G B T Q ladies. Yes, yeah, he's trying to put a W in there. Yeah, yeah. That's what <laughs> she she's trying to add more letters to that umbrella. That's crazy. That is actually That's exactly crazy. what they're trying to do. If they don't love us, they don't love you. And, and here's the thing, too, because we haven't covered a trans topic in maybe like a year. I feel like we haven't covered it. And I don't, I don't think, I don't feel I have bad, have, have bad about that. No, I just don't think it's necessary. You know, there's a time where people were like, oh, you guys are obsessed. Like, trans videos, I think, maybe don't even represent 0.5%. Not even 0.5% of our we, total videos. But we talk. That part, and. Also, these videos, it's, I'm like, it's just a whole bunch of rage bait. Like, these trans people don't represent the whole trans fucking community. So, I feel like people watch these videos sometimes and they think like, oh, this is how they think. Which is very ignorant because that's not the case. But, I mean, I just feel like... <laughs> But there was a period where it was like very much in the social news. It was a talk, yeah. It was all the time. You'd literally go online, you couldn't escape it. But Even here. And, and that's what we do. Right? We so we talk about mental. So but, but, but people think, it's like, no. You know, it's interesting too because when you talk about these things, generally you're always talking about things because something bad has happened. Yeah. So people, when they see us covers, like, oh my God, you only have bad things to say. It's like, well, what do you want me to say? Like, oh, it's so great. Uh, trans people just built this new. Uh, this new center for trans. To be fair, though, a lot of the shit that people tell um, reactors to react to, that people tell these uh, channels who do commentary to comment on, they're they're all negative. So when people make that comment about anything, it's stupid already because it's like, uh, take a look at all this other content I'm watching. None of this shit is really positive. Like people want to discuss the fucked up shit in the world. Okay. Listen, this is the mindset of our society. People like the drama. They like the negativity. They like discussing the fucked up shit. It is what it is. People don't really want to discuss positive things that are taking place. So, 
blame that on the audience. <laughs> These are the things they're requesting, so... And like, I'm, nobody wants to watch that shit. But to they be clear, watch I don't care about transness. I don't care if people are trans. If I meet a trans person, it's just another person to me. Go live your best lives. Mm -hmm. I really think zero about it at all. But when I'm being told as a straight person, if you're not with the trans people, you're transphobic and you should be shunned, then I'm like, okay, well, now you're involving me. No, I come to now you're involved. <laughs> I was leaving you alone, but you made me part of this conversation. I'm generally like, no, I'm, I'm a live and let live person. I'm generally something like, you know, if they need medical care, go get your medical care. I'll bet all these things if you need is happening. But all this talk about straight people need to start being a more open minded. Yo, yo, chill the f. Y'all do your thing. And the people who want to be involved in doing your thing, let them do their thing. I think. And everybody should be left to be in doing their thing. Everyone do their thing. thing. <laughs> I do their thing, their thing, thing. Okay. <laughs> Thank thing. Thank thing. No, I, I think that I think that straight people should be more open minded. The problem is the way you want straight people to be more open minded is now you trying to judge who you trying to fucking judge what has to be in my mouth. And that that thing I think is weird. I fucking think that that's not in your business. That's fucking weird. Why'd you say like that? Because that's what it is. Why'd you say that's what it is. You have to put it in your mouth. Pause. That's what they want. Yo, let's end this video. <laughs> nah, we're not done. <laughs> Yo, don't touch you have to say something shit like that. Yo, don't take force on me. What you gonna do? Are you the trans woman? Yeah! yeah, yeah You're yeah. doing this video, or else you don't love us. Yeah, Motherfucker. <laughs> we're doing this video. They're so silly. Um, but yeah, this shit is rage bait. <laughs> like I said in recent videos, don't take the bait. People say things that they know are going to get others riled up. They say the most ridiculous outlandish shit. And it's like, bruh, you're not going to get me. Not today. But I agree with what they said. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Let me know what other videos you're going to watch. And I'll see y'all the next time. Bye.